So hello and welcome. I am so glad to have with me Jennifer Kramer Lewis and she's going to share with us some of the oh, some of the questions and some of the ways she's grappled with what happens uh, when you're working on a business and it just isn't coming up to your expectations. What are some things we can do? Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's just jump right in, right? Yeah, why not? Yay! Let's talk about business. And let's talk about your business being bad and not paying off the way that you expect it to. Oh, oh imagine. It's a naughty little business. So, you know, invested in you. I keep buying you new things to make it even more fantastic and profitable. I got you a laptop. Yeah. I got you a website. Yeah, I hired you these business coaches. Now, my goodness, stupid little business. Come on now, let's be profitable. Yeah. And so how much of that is the energy of what we received as kids and as teenagers and as young adults that we're sort of um, – we're copying it and we're perpetrating it on our business as though, you know, some ancient coaching techniques like, you know, critical um, feedback. I can't even remember what that's called because I fucking hate it. But basically where somebody says, oh, well, here's all the things that you did wrong as a way of helping you be right. Uh-huh. And so that never ever works. Wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I'm really curious about this. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little worried that that's how my parents raised me. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like Erica. Here's all the things you've done wrong. So don't do them again, so that you can be right. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that never works, especially in business. It's like when we judge our business as less than, uh -huh. we're not showing up the way that we would like it to show up. Um, then what happens is more of what we would not like to show up shows up. It's like we're planting the seeds of not right. Wow. Rather than planting the seeds of, well, that was fucking cool. How much more cool can I have in this business? <laughs> Oh my God. Those or or for me, like, like I am, uh, I don't, I don't even know how it happened because when I first started out with publishing, I was publishing authors that weren't in alignment with me very much at all. Mm. So I was publishing bi some business people, but they weren't like my friends. They weren't like people I would go out to drink with or, you know, they were on another planet for me but I thought well they have marketing money so I'm gonna go after them <laughs> and, and then I remember when I first started asking um, you know light workers to pony up and help with the marketing and help with the growth of their their writing it was it was fascinating mm -hmm. and now my clients are like the I, they're so awesome like I couldn't even have more exciting clients. like I could there's nobody I'd prefer to hang out with you know yeah, well, and you do really have um, amazing clientele. I even know. <laughs> even if you're one, I know. But here's the thing, like, like we start out and we put on the hat, right? Like, we put on the business hat. Like, I'm going to act like I'm doing business. Like, it's not – how do we start getting away from that and just start being more authentic? I, I, I mean, I know it almost sounds like a canned answer, but I still feel like there's people that put on that hat of how they should yes. behave. They're like, oh, well, I'd like to be a best-selling author. And so here's all of the things that I've heard that a best-selling author does and says. And so now I'm going to go out and do and say that. And it has <laughs> absolutely nothing to do with me. And it's the same in business. You know, like I, it was interesting, um, this modality that I'm a facilitator of um, and a coach of, and I use it in business, um, when I first heard about it and I first experienced so much um, like joy coming into my life and my business by using I was a little Taliban, I'm just like I wanted everybody to use it. <laughs> and so not everybody's gonna use it, right? And so thinking about your business. What if the people who 
want to use your business and want to connect with your business aren't necessarily the people that you think, oh, well, you know, do they have a money meet or, you know, are they like the kind of people that I'm excited about working with? Well, these are all preconceived notions, right? Right, right. Because I look for, I, I think I want to get back to your topic because I really yeah. think this phenomena of, my chapter actually was kind of similar because it was how do you speak with kindness to your business? Yeah. And, it, and it came out of, I was working with someone who was just kept saying, I wish I could do this full time, but it's performing so badly. I have to do this other job I hate. And I was like, if you keep telling it, it's performing, oh, yeah. you know, badly. It, it's not a question. It's not, it doesn't open up space. So how do you how do you switch the energy that we're now kind of defining? Yeah, how do we switch that all back on for people? Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that I do do in the morning um, is I connect with my body, and you know, um, pull. You know, even if I wake up and I'm like, oh, that was kind of a crappy sleep. <laughs> then, you know, I just like switch my whole body on, and there's a bunch of different ways to do that. And you can go into your business and switch all that on too. It's like, wow. okay, who's looking for my business today? Yeah. If I had no point of view about who to call today or who to connect with today, that would have my business like switched on and profitable right away. And it may be, you're like, oh, those people have sort of been dancing around working with me. And I haven't actually had a chance to like sit down with them yeah. and, you know, address what concerns that they have or what they think that we want to accomplish together. Yeah. Um, you know, cause there will be some people who will like dash into their business and choose it right away. Mm -hmm. And then there can be some people who just want to have a conversation with you. Yeah. I'm turning off and my video real quick just this. to, they just want to sit down and have a conversation. Yeah. Do you know that's yeah. that's so interesting you said that. And we are cutting off a bit, so I'm going to just take my video off so we can have yours, and I'll give sure. us a little more bandwidth. Um, but I think it's fascinating when you're asking for just generative conversations. Like, so like yeah. instead of saying, I'd like to go – have that person hire me for $2,500 a month for coaching. And so I'm going to do seven calls and I'm going to get two of those are going to convert and I'm going to have like 14 more of this. And then I'm, but if you, if I look at, well, what if I could have some generative conversations today? And then I don't even know, like that might even generate a new concept. Like, I don't know what it's going to generate, but when you're connecting with cool people and you're having generative conversations, it's just such an interesting experience, you know? And then who knows, like when you're going to your classes today in Australia, like I'm curious what your business is going to generate because we are turning it on right now. <laughs> you're activating it, right? right? And so now when you go out, it's really going to, I feel like I, I get this intuition that there's going to be some people you connect with that, right? That are like, I want some of what you're having. And then it's not even about, it doesn't even matter that much what your actual offer is. Oh no, I hate to break it to you. Right? <laughs> exactly. like, you know, when you think, oh, well, you know, they're going to want energy pulls and they're going to yeah. want me to go into their business and, you know, check out the like, um, finances and make sure that, you know, they have, they're working with the best, you know, email marketing company or, you know, they've got a really great, um, assistant. And then, you know, like, where will I fit in? How can I help? And it's, you know, when you're sitting down with people who want to have a generative conversation with you and you have no point of view about like, will they hire me? Won't they hire me? Right. Oh, this is, you know, call number seven of 25 generative calls that I'm going to make this week. So, you know, what's my conversion ratio? You know, like... <laughs> really yeah and you know I, I I I I just know this to be true now that things are clicking so differently in my business space that it's never it's not always the thing that you're talking about that happens like it could be that you get invited to be on a new podcast 
as a guest speaker and someone there hears you and then that happens or maybe it turns into it's like it's so crazy when you're not all fixated on I'm looking for this answer in fact in fact, in one group I'm on, it said, and I like to ask them, by the end of the call, I need a yes or no answer to my, my invitation. I'm like, well, I don't know, because almost every author I work with, I work with again, mm -hmm. and then I might work with them again, and then they might work with me again, right. <laughs> and, then, and then they might hire me to do their podcast, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, if I'm just sitting there saying, will you, will you do this exact little step a or b we've kind of i don't know it's interesting it's so counter what everyone thinks should be done um jennifer you're not teaching what they teach in business school <laughs> and the funny thing is is that i have a huge long career in business yeah i started in banking when i was like 19 years old and um i didn't actually stop working uh as you know in uh, the financial industry and in the real estate in industry until five years ago. Wow. Hey, yeah. I need you to tell me, I know this is um, very uh, counterintuitive, but tell me a little bit about your castle. I just have to know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. My God. Let's be an invitation to that right here in this interview as we're getting towards the it. end. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So when we were looking to move out of the city, um, we wrote this amazing list of like, and my husband wasn't even going to want to play with me. He was like, oh, we're going to get what we can afford, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, just play with me. What would you like? If we could have everything, what would you like? And so he wrote a big chef's kitchen and vaulted springs and a fireplace. And nice. I wrote, um, uh, privacy and acreage and um, room to have a business and room to have um, like yeah. a bunch of secondary incomes yeah. um, that the, the business would be profitable um, or the house would bring in its own money and it was so funny our realtor didn't even find it Tom <laughs> found it and then when we went there I was like oh my god I have I sold real estate and I have not been in and I grew up in a real estate family so you know going out looking at real estate was something that was fun for us and I have never been in a home that's that beautiful in wow. my entire life oh my god and it's mine <laughs> <laughs> and you can come and visit and I'll share it with you <laughs> I yeah. love it. You know, that's the magic when you do give up those those things that you talked about. That's the magic that's possible, right? Yeah, no conclusion or computation about what we can afford and what we can't afford. And, um, you wow. know, oh, well, at least we can have, you know, a guest bedroom. I'm like, you know, forget that. We've got four guest bedrooms. <laughs> And it's like, how much fun is it to have four guest bedrooms? People want wow. to come up, well, duh, get over here. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Well, tell us how we can find you and learn more about you. And you have a gift for the audience, right? I do. I have two gifts. Two gifts. So my name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook, Kramer with a C, Lewis, L-E-W-I-S. And I have two gifts. Um... Uh, one is uh, a 90 minute class unlocking points of view that may have been put on you in any lifetime about not having money. And so that's bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash unlocking you. And then my second gift is sometimes we work with clients because we think that we'll get money. And what if we could work with clients that are amazing, that refer other clients that super love to work with you and will also pay you. <laughs> so that is at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash capital I, capital C, capital B, blueprint. So I C blueprint. I love it. Thank you so yeah. much. Thanks Welcome for coming. And, and our book is absolutely number one bestseller right now. So how does it get any better than that? Internationally. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love it. That's all my fault. Creating <laughs> business beyond this reality. Go get it and read Jennifer's chapter and then go get her gifts and how's it getting you yeah, better? And come and visit yeah. me at Telemark Ridge. Woo! Telemark Ridge.com is my B&B. I love it. Thank you.